Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be working on this interesting integral using contour method and residues. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from 0 to infinity, dx over x to the power of 8 plus 1. For this integral, I'll be using contour method with the residues. So I'll be calling this integral as just the i. There's integral from 0 to infinity, dx over x to the power of 8 plus 1. Okay, then it has to be the same as 1 over 2 times integral from negative infinity to infinity, the same dx over x to the power of 8, now plus 1. Okay, so like I said, I'll be using the residues. Residues or the partial fraction, the work is going to be basically the same. But then again, using this residue contour method. So I'll be saying that y is greater than 0. And then also saying the z to the power of 8 plus 1 is now equal to 0, which means your z to the power of 8 is equal to negative 1. That is the same as e to the power of i now pi. Okay, then we can talk about this roots now. So the roots is going to be the same as z, that is equal to um, e to the power of, now i, parenthesis, pi over 8. Now plus 2 pi n over 8. For in this case, your n is from 0, 1, 2, all the way up to now 7. So that's why I'll be letting this um, zn as this expression, e to the power of i times pi over 8 plus now 2 pi n over 8. Okay, then we can draw this semicircle. Okay, that is 0, and then we have um, z0 and z1. Then we have z2 and z3, right. This is when this y is greater than 0, right? Then we can choose the contour. So choose the contour CR with the radius of the R. Then based on this, we can draw now this bigger semi-circle. Okay. Then we have negative R and the R, because we're talking about this contour with the radius of the R. And then it's going this direction. And then we have this little circle, semi-circle that is inscribed in it. Okay, then we should have just z, now 0, z1, and z2, and z3 that is located. Okay, using this contour, we can go back to our integral and talk about 1 over 2 times contour integral of dz over z to the power of 8, now plus 1. Okay, this is represented now 2 pi um, i over 2. And then it has to be the same as the summation from, say, n is from 0 to now 3. Okay. And then that of the residue of 1 over z to the power of 8 plus 1 and then Zn. Okay, then let's talk about this residue of 1 over z to the power of 8 plus 1 and Zn, right? So this residue of 1 over z to the power of 8 plus 1 and Zn. Okay, this is the same as now this limit when your z is going to Zn of now z minus Zn over z to the power of 8, now plus 1. Then from this, we can use L'Hopital's rule. Then it looks like we're working on 1 over 8 times z to the power of 7. That has to be equal to 1 over 8 times zn over zn to the power of now 8 which on your denominator is just equal to negative 1. 
So that's why this whole expression is the same as negative 1 over 8. Now z n. Okay, so that's why we can represent your integral i. Okay, so your integral i has to be 2 pi i over now 2 times negative 1 over 8. And then that times now z0 plus z1 plus z2 plus z now 3. Then we can talk about those four expressions, z0, z1, 2, and 3 separately. So your z now 0, this is going to be equal to e to the power of now i pi over 8. So that's why this is cosine of now pi over 8 plus i times sine of pi over 8. Do the same for the z1, 2, and 3, right? So your z1 is then going to be e to the power of i times 3 pi over 8. That is equal to cosine of 3 pi over 8 plus i times sine 3 pi over 8. Do the same thing, then your z2. z2 is just equal to cosine of 5 pi over 8 plus i times sine of 5 pi over 8. Lastly, your z3. z3 is equal to cosine of now 7 pi over 8. That plus i times sine of 7 pi over 8. Okay, based on all the previous work, let's talk about z0 plus z1 plus z2 plus z3. So, in z0 plus z1 plus z2 plus z3, we can easily see how your cosines are all cancelled out. Then at the same time, sine of 7 pi over 8. Okay, this is equal to sine pi over 8. And at the same time, sine of now 5 pi over 8. Okay, this is equal to sine of 3 pi over now 8. Okay. So that's why your z0 plus z1 plus z2 plus z3. Okay, we can represent this as now uh, 2, pi, 2 i. 2i parenthesis sine of pi over 8. That plus sine of 3 pi over now 8. So that is why this integral i that we are working on has to be now uh, 2 pi i over now 2. That times okay, negative 1 over 8. That times now 2i parenthesis sine of pi over 8. Get that plus sine of 3 pi over 8, which has to be the same as then pi over 4. Pi over 4 times the same thing. Sine of now pi over 8 plus sine of 3 pi over 8.